Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lashara Noel from How About Them Apples Teacher and I'm so excited to share this next video with you. I don't know about you, but this has been a crazy year. Shutdowns, COVID, I can't even tell you how stressful it was to go from in class to online learning. It was hard, but the things that we did and the things that you did are remarkable. I just want to encourage you um, you guys are total rock stars. Not everyone can do the things that we do as teachers and just know that you are totally killing it. We're all in the same boat. None of us know what's going to happen, especially with this upcoming year. I know that going into this next year can be extremely scary for many, many people, but you are a teacher for a reason and you are doing the things that you love to do because you wanna show your love and compassion towards those students who need it the most. And I just hope that um, we can continue on doing the things that we only teachers can do. <laughs> so the last video that I posted was on digital planning and how to create one on Google Slides. And I got so much positive feedback from that and I just wanna thank you um, if you liked that video or commented or became a subscriber thank you so much i could not believe the positive support that i got from that video so but i did take that video seriously and i went through all of the comments and i wanted to make a second video on the things that was asked of me the most so the things that were asked of me the most on that last video was um how to do the stickers and so there are several different ways that you can do stickers on digital planning especially with google slides um, so I wanted to make that video today for you guys. There's a ton of different ways, so I'll go through all of those. Um, but I really wanted to make that video for you guys today. The stickers that I did use for today will be linked down below. Um, once you get into those kinds of links, you're going to see a ton of different stickers and stuff that you can use that fit your style. Um, but these are the ones that I used um, in my planner and the ones I'm going to show you today. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. You can either comment below or you can actually follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Just type in how about them apples teacher and I'll pop right up and you can message me. Um, you can comment on things and I will definitely take those to heart. So if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, um, you can let me know there. I'm a huge Google enthusiast, so I love using all things Google Slides, Docs, Sheets, Google Classroom, all of that stuff. So if you need any tips and tricks on any of those Google type platforms, you can always let me know and I'd be happy to make some videos for you on that. All right, guys. Well, I think I talked your ear off enough. So let's go ahead and get to the meat of our video, stickers for digital planning. Alright guys, so the first thing that I wanted to go through with you is my current 2020-2021 uh, digital uh, planner for this year. Um, I made this by hand and I am really loving the way that it came out. The first version of this, I tried to overthink it and I had way too many color schemes and it just was not coming together so I actually stopped working on it for a little while but then I picked it up um, and kind of readjusted everything. So I wanted to show you what my current uh, planner looks like. I added a lot of new features that I didn't have in my last planner. Um, so this is my monthly spread. I have the title all of the days of the week. I have my weekends um, in gray. And then I have decided to add links to my slide. I was able to create all of these different months links. So if I wanted to go to September, I can just click here and then go to my September page. I have my December page and so on and so forth. Um, I haven't linked my data page because I haven't created those yet. I'm kind of waiting for school to start um, to make sure that 
the pages that I create are going to be used for my purposes. Um, I don't want to create something that I'm not going to end up using. So I haven't linked that one yet. Um, but on this side, I have our yearly calendar linked. And so I can just click that and open that up. And then I also have all of my stickers linked uh, to here, slide 32. So I have all of my stickers here that I have downloaded from all different places, but we'll get into that. <laughs> uh, but I just kind of want to show you where I am at. So I have August. I started planning a little bit uh, just to kind of refresh myself. And then I redid all of my weekly spreads. Um, so it still has all of the month uh, links and then it has all of my subjects and I'm going to insert the times when I get my schedule. Uh, but this way I can click inside and write down everything I need to do. I have my notes section and then on each weekly spread I have my uh, yearly and stickers so I can access them a lot easier than scrolling up and down 40 some odd slides. So um, I kind of wanted to show you that. If you are interested in um, knowing how I create a basic version of this, you can check out my video that I posted in January. Um, it kind of helps you create these things in a very easy way. Um, so if you want to check that out, you can go ahead and do that. All right, let's go ahead and get started into the meat and potatoes of this video. A lot of you from my last video were asking me if, if I could teach you how to add stickers to your planner, and I am more than happy to do so. The last time I did my digital planner, the stickers that I downloaded they were super easy because the artist had already put them into a PowerPoint and then I just copy and pasted the PowerPoint into my digital planner and so it was a lot easier to use the uh, stickers. However, I have come to learn that most sticker artists do not do that. Most sticker artists give you your stickers on a file and then each sticker is its own PNG file. So for example, on the left hand side of my screen, these are all of the uh, stickers that I have downloaded recently. I have some from TPT and I have some from Etsy. Um, I will link the ones that I am using below. So I kind of wanted to go through and decorate um, one of my monthly spreads. So I finished August. I have my little pineapples and I just finished September and then I realized I was like, well, I should record this so that I can um, share with you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to do October and I really want to use my new stickers that I just downloaded. So I'm going to use those. So I'm kind of thinking for October since the main color is pink. I don't really want it to be like pink in my pictures because I think that would be too much. So I kind of wanted to complement it. I was kind of looking at two things. I was kind of looking at these like hats and bags and stuff. And then I was looking at the rainbows and stuff up here. So I think I might do the hats and the bag today. So it's super easy. You can split screen it and have your stickers on one side and your planner on the other. And then you can just click and drag and then it's right there. And then of course you're going to readjust uh, to the size that you want. So give me a couple minutes while I do that and then I'll come back to you. All right, so I got my pictures in. This is for October. Now, a lot of us are not going to want to have to open up our stickers file and this and then create it. So what I suggest you do is what I did. And yes, it is tedious, but it will save your life in the long run. I have put together some just slides of the stickers that I may use more often than once, especially these ones with the meetings and all that stuff. So I just clicked and dragged all of these stickers into a blank slide and then I readjusted them and kind of organized them so that now when I have a meeting or a professional development day or a PLC or whatever, I can just click on this. I can do control copy and copy it 
And then because I linked all of my slides, I can just go to the month and then paste it in. And then I can just put it where the date is, reformat it. There you go. So adding stickers to your digital planner is super easy. It does take some time in the beginning to get all of the stickers that you may want or need into your digital planner, but I promise you it'll be worth it in the long run because you can use them more often. Another one of the things that a lot of people have asked me about is um, adding pictures from like Google into your slides. So I'm going to show you a quick way to do that so that your, your memory on your computer isn't filled with random pictures. So let's take February and what you're going to do is you're going to have your planner in one tab and then you're going to open a new tab. So we're doing February. So let's do uh, lips for Valentine's day. I don't know. I would also do lips like clip art <laughs> so you're not getting like all these random human lips because that's just awkward okay so i really like this one so if you see kind of gray and white checkers that usually means that it's a png which means that the background is transparent however keep in mind that if you just copy it from here it's probably not going to turn out that way sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but sometimes you actually have to go into the website to download it and so that that could be dangerous, it's really up to you, but just keep in mind that you might have to go into the website to actually download the PNG version. Otherwise, these squares might pop up when you put it in. But I do wanna show you what I mean with the PNG. Um, so if I copy it, watch, this one's actually gonna work. That would be really funny. No, okay, well, so parts of it is clear, but the gray boxes are not. That one's funny. Um, so this is what I mean. So you're going to have to actually uh, download it into your computer and then upload it. And that's just a headache that you don't really need. But anyway, um, let's do this one just because. If you right click and just copy the image, then you can go back to your planner and you can paste it in. Okay, And then you can move it around and all that stuff. Um, if you do want to put it in the back so that it's not quite as noticeable, if you do order, so you right click it, click order, and then send to back, it'll take it to the back. So now I can see the February and all of my calendars and I don't have to worry about it covering up. So that's one way to do that. Um, you can save them into a file. You can like come here and then save image as. But like I said, if you're only using it for these purposes, you don't really have to do that. You can just copy and paste it. So that is a, another little tip for you. I haven't put in any Google pictures in my calendars. These are all stickers that I have bought from Etsy and Teachers Pay Teachers. Even these, these, the months, are all stickers this is a sticker my days are stickers so i didn't type these in these are actually stickers that i can move around i haven't used any google images because they can be more of a headache than they can be a benefit so i would suggest that you go ahead and stick with the stickers that you can download from artists anyway that is i think it that i wanted to show you guys today all right guys, well that does it for our stickers video. But again, if you have any other questions, please feel free to comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on all of my social media uh, platforms. So I have Facebook and Instagram. Well, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful school year. Um, if you're remote learning or if you're in person, I hope you stay safe and well. And remember, those students need you more than they think they do. All right guys, have a good one. Bye.